In Jesus' name, we are praying. As I round off that first section, let me ask you this question. What's the difference between a mentor and a father? You don't know. <laughs> you don't know, right? I look at some of my people. Are you there? This man of God is doing best day. Then they will go to their status. My father in the law. Next month, another man of God. <laughs> My father. Kilo <laughs> day. Your father can, can only be one. It can't be two. Are you there? Your mentors can be many, but father is one. Because their labors are not the same. No, fathers are not many. It's just one. No matter if you say, he's my father, you are confused. You are confused. Do you know there are some people that claim that somebody that they have not seen is their father? They have not they only follow the person on YouTube. But they say, who is your father in the Lord? This person. It's not true. Your father is that person that knows you and you know. Somebody you can access. At will, that's a father. You can mentor people from afar, but you cannot father from afar. Father has to be that person you can cry to and say, This is that. That's a father. A father. A father. A father. <laughs> you, need, <laughs> you need to understand this thing, so I'm telling you the truth. Before you look like, like a spiritual amoeba. You don't have a regular shape. Today you look like a triangle. Tomorrow, <laughs> a square. <laughs> we can have many mentors. But your father is what? One. Are you getting what I'm saying? And there's nothing like my spiritual father. Your spiritual father is also one. And it's not woman. It's God. Your father is the your father in the faith. That one that that um, that will labor. Now the function of a father is that he will he will labor on you until Christ is what is formed in that one that formed Christ in you is the father. This is what his father. That one that formed Christ in you. Are you there? The reason you can have many mentors is because you know you, you may want to go into a business and somebody is there before. You can follow that person. So mentors are for specific things. You want to learn how to pray. Are you there? You can follow a man of God. You catch it. That assignment has, is ended. That's a mentor. So you can have a prayer mentor. Are you there? If you can have an intercession mentor, somebody that's very good in intercession, and you also want to intercede. Maybe you, you have the grace for writing. You can also have a mentor in that direction, somebody that has written a lot of books. I want to follow. Are you there? But your father is one. So when you add all those things together, whatever you are getting from those mentors, you now bring it to the table of the father. This is what the fathers will now bring perspective to those things you are. You will bring it, you will bring it to the father in particles. The fathers, when you now bring it to that father, he will now what? Make those particles into what? Into one. That's a father. If your fathers are many, if you bring particles to them, they will make it to, into one. They will make it into many. So your confusion will increase. The scripture says, who is it that that king comes out? That's confusion. You came to them with clarity. <laughs> you are living confused. <laughs> oh, Lua, oh, Lua, I told you love her. Oh. <laughs> are you getting blessed? Are you getting blessed? Your father is the one that has formed Christ in you. He's the one that will labor on you until Christ is formed. That one that we, on the strength of teachings, intercession, constant intercession, 
that will bring you to that point where you can stand firm in Christ. That's a father. And it will not be from afar. It won't be somebody that does not know you. I know him is not enough. Does he know you? If no, he's not your father. Better say mentor. So we can have many mentors, but how many father? One father. Hey. Hey.